Damage done by incorrect Las Vegas real estate market reports. Let's get the January 2015 Las Vegas real estate market housing statistics out of the way before we get to the main subject, which is how bad information about the real estate market can adversely affect offer amounts or asking prices for Las Vegas home or condo for sale listings in the MLS. As you can see, for January 2015, the median sales price for Las Vegas homes at $200,000 and the median price for condos and townhomes at $98,000 stand at exactly where they were six months ago. You can't get any more flat than zero change. The ratio of sales price over asking price for single family homes was 98% and 97% for condos and townhomes. Additionally, the median price for Las Vegas homes that are not under contract is $255,000 and the median price for condos and townhomes is $98,000. In a flat market, it is not necessary to do a housing market report every month and the only reason we do it is because of the error in the GLVAR market reports in calculating the median price for condos and townhomes arising from mixing high-rise condo data with regular units. We have already explained this in a video titled Serious Errors in the GLVAR's Real Estate Market Reports. Now back to the main topic. Why is it important for your Las Vegas realtor or real estate agent to get the Las Vegas real estate market right and explain it correctly to his or her own clients? Check out the hypothetical conversation between a Las Vegas realtor who gets his or her information from news media and the client. Dear buyers or sellers, it is nice to finally meet you. Here is what you need to know about the Las Vegas housing market. This is from an article published in the Las Vegas Review Journal on February 10, 2015. The median price of single family homes sold through the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors Multiple Listing Service was $200,000 in the month, up 8.1% from $185,000 in January 2014 the trade group said. The median among condos and townhomes was $105,000, up 10.5% compared with a year ago. Additionally, Zillow has predicted 5.8% further appreciation for 2015. I know this home or condo that you like is a bit overpriced, but our market is still appreciating and it will be a good buy in a few months. So give it some thought and let me know what you want to do. Our imaginary realtor totally believes that he or she is honest and correct in what was said. No malicious intention here. But we know better, since we do our own research, which we explained in the last two videos. Here is what we would tell our clients in the same scenario. One, even though the median price for Las Vegas homes in January 2015 at $200,000 appreciated by 8.1% in the past 12 months, the appreciation rate is exactly zero since August 2014 because the median price of single family homes was $200,000 back then. Two, there has been no appreciation for Las Vegas condos and townhomes, excluding high rise condos. GLVAR's error arises from mixing high rise condo data with regular condos and townhomes. Three, at best, we will have a flat housing market and wouldn't be surprised if prices go down in 2015. The home that you like is overpriced. Are you willing to wait for a price drop while accepting the risk of losing it to other buyers and their agent who incorrectly think we are still in a quickly appreciating market? We think that if you miss on this, on this property, you can buy a similar home or condo at market value in the future. Time is not working against you. The difference between our offer amounts and those who get their information from news organizations could be more than $10,000 for a $200,000 home. Same with Las Vegas home or condo sellers. We try to educate them on the real estate market before calculating current market value on their property. This way the seller has a good shot at selling his or her property in a reasonable time frame. We talked about the $55,000 difference between the median price for homes sold in January and those which are listed and have failed to attract an offer. Here is an example. As you can see, the asking price for these homes, and one is a Fannie Mae foreclosed listing, are $40,000 more than sold comps and are unlikely to attract an offer without consecutive price cuts over time. How would you feel if you were the seller? 
In conclusion, a Las Vegas realtor's most important duty is to become an authority on the Las Vegas real estate market and to provide the facts to his or her clients without any sort of cheerleading that you saw in our hypothetical example. If you want to buy or invest in Las Vegas Henderson or North Las Vegas homes, condos, or townhomes in the immediate future, please call us at 800-762-4917. Please like and share if you find the information useful and subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos. This is Karen Sabrazade of Realty One Group and www.lasvegasforus.com wishing you a great day.